Yeah, Ben, this is Turkey's deadliest earthquake in more than 80 years. And just a few hours ago, the White House announced U.S. assistance is ramping up to Turkey and Syria. But here at home, these Connecticut locals are doing their part, too. Extra praying at the Dianette Mosque of New Haven Friday. To honor the over 23,000 lives lost in this week's devastating earthquake. We prayed a little bit longer, and the prayer is pretty much just to put at ease our brothers and sisters who have fallen. But more than just prayers, this mosque is sending much needed supplies to those impacted by the destruction. Heater, jacket, food, baby formula, and diapers. So what everyone needed, they, they need it. This mosque gathering donations for the last four days, packing up hundreds of items to be shipped out via the Turkish consulate. The old people, you know, under the old rubber, that's, I'm so sad, you know. Many of these people personally affected by the earthquake. I lost a friend. Actually, it's just tough, you know, and that's just me losing one friend. I can't imagine how it is for people who lost family, relatives. With recovery efforts still underway in Turkey and Syria, those here say money is most important. Many looking to the U.S. government for federal aid. Right now, I believe we have the funds in the budgets of agencies to provide immediate relief. But if emergency supplementals are necessary, we will work together, and I believe it will be on a bipartisan basis. For now, those here in New Haven will continue to pray and send help in whatever way they can. Balat ailesine yaldır ede ve girasındakilere başınız sağ olsun, mekanı cennet olsun Sarıvan. That's uh, my friend's name, and I just wanted to say to his family, I'm so sorry, and I hope he's in heaven. And those at the mosque today tell me they'll continue accepting donations for as long as they can. If you're interested in helping out, you can find links on our website at fox61.com. Ben. 